Hello Aries, I'm giving your April 2018 reading. I already got the Mercury and Retrograde readings up. Those are energies coming towards you. But this is just your April all-around uh, tarot reading, tarot reading for April 2018, Aries. Reading, Aries, 2018, April. Tarot reading, I need a reading for Aries, April 2018. Ooh, that's one that come out. Being left out from the cold strife. Being left out in the cold strife. Possibly an air sign. I'm going to keep those out. Aries, 2018. April, 2018. Aries. And they fall out like that, and I've already started then I will possibly keep them, depending on how many is there. Juggling, you're trying to change something. Feeling kind of left out. Maybe you had an argument of some sort because you have the strife card here, and it could be with an air sign or someone with a lot of air element in their chart, and that can be a uh, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Ace of Disc. Emperor, you may not have offered a new beginning with something also because that's the emperor crossing the ace of disc. And the ace of disc is like an offer. It could be a financial offer, a new one that maybe didn't come out for the emperor. And you, the emperor is you, your energy. But you got blessings coming for Titian. Something's going to grow. I get the Empress I always think of blessings because she always makes things fruitful and multiply. A lot of people uh, think it as a pregnancy, so take that into consideration, Aries. Okay, we got the Ace of Discs. We got the Emperor uh, crossing this Ace of Discs. As I said, the Emperor did not go on with a new beginning, with a financial possible situation or that of stability. What happened there? That's the subject at hand for April. Something didn't come forth. Why are you there, Ace of Dis Reverse? Why are you there? Yeah, you may have got a message that something didn't go forward. Yeah, it could be a lot to do with money, too, because I'm seeing some pentacles here. One more card for the Ace of Pentacles with the Emperor and the Page of Swords clarifying. I need another card. Something didn't go forward. You're trying to balance yourself out with a certain situation, and it didn't occur. But you're keeping balance in some ways. Yep. Looking at that card. Could have had something to do with a relationship, a family relationship, or something just traditional for you. And it's in the reverse. So something didn't go through. Something didn't work out. Something you were definitely contemplating on. Because you have the... Um, Nine of Wands there. So something that you were working on, maybe you stopped working on because something didn't come through. Now the foundation it could have to do with this watery element. It's the Princess of Cups. And the Princess of Cups can be a uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And she's in reverse. So maybe she didn't, maybe this is the element that didn't come through. Maybe it's a person or someone that has a lot of water in their chart or just kind of emotional in general. And maybe they just didn't come through with something. Why is the Princess of Cups there? Why is the Princess of Cups there? Why is the Princess of Cups there? There's a Hierophant again, reverse. It's over something. Maybe it could be an X. Could be a family member too, but something didn't work out. The Hierophant, it shows, I'm showing it, I'm thinking it's someone from your past that didn't work out. And maybe you thought a new offer was on the table, or maybe they did. You know, those energies can be reversed. It could have a lot to do with finances also. Now, your goal is, you got the Eight of oops, Pentacles in uh, reverse as someone who's no longer working on a situation because something didn't go through. And then you also got the King of Swords there. So your goal could be going towards the King of Swords, which is an air element, is someone who's intelligent, it is someone who knows what they're doing. They, they speak their truth. They don't always look at pers a person's feelings, but 
and when they're in the upright, they're right. They're usually right. But it's clarifying this Eight of Pentacles. So it could be that when I see the Eight of Pentacles reverse, it's someone not working anymore. And it could be with this Air element also, because you do have the Page of Swords there, which is the Air element. So a couple of people could be here. This could be a family unit that didn't work out in something. Maybe you had some collaboration going. I don't know. I don't see the Three of Pentacles yet, but I need another card for the Eight of Pentacles. Let's see if it shows up. I forgot. You got the Princess of Swords, the air element up there. I forgot about her. Or it could be either sex, but that's the one I fell out earlier. But I need another card for the Eight of Pentacles for Aries. Yeah, you know, something didn't work out. It's a seven of pentacles. It has a lot to do with finances. But in the end, you get the empress, the blessing. So, you know, you know, sometimes, you know, when something doesn't work out, it ends up being a blessing. You ever heard of that? Well, you're getting a blessing because something didn't work out. So let's find out. Empress, why are you there? Why are you there? With the queen of cups. That's a motherly type energy. Someone could be expecting soon. Maybe someone, you know, wanted to have a family. It didn't work out in the past, and now they're going to have a family. This is not going to be for all Aries, just a few of you out there like that. Or it could be that financially something didn't work out, and eventually it's going to work out. It's going to be very good. I need one more for the Empress and the Queen of Cups in the upright. Yeah, but communications, you're not going back and forth with communications. One more. Maybe you're putting uh, arguments to rest, too, because a lot of times with the Eight of Wands there, and if it's in the upright and there's a lot of negative cards in the reading, it could be a lot of abrupt speaking and some shouting and yelling, but it's in reverse, so maybe there's no more harsh words, no more harsh emails, no more harsh texts coming through, texting. One more for the uh, Empress. For Aries. One more. You know, you're no longer feeling blocked or stagnant. The choice is going to be made. You're no, no longer put on that blindfold. So I'm thinking you're going to have more choices in the future. Something more fruitful. Something forthcoming. And it could have what to do with this Queen of Cups energy, which is a positive card in the upright. And it can be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. But like I said, you were feeling kind of left out in the cold. Somebody was over a strife situation. It could have to do with the air element. The overall energy judgment is on your side. You're going to make a sound judgment over the whole situation. And that is your uh, reading, Aries. Uh, you're looking good, so you don't need a vice card. You're going to work it out. So that's your reading, and I will let that go there. Talk to you later. Bye.